Hi there, gorgeous, and a very happy Frugal Friday to you. If you are new to the channel, welcome. I make videos like this every Friday. Well, maybe not like this, but I do make videos every Friday focusing on drugstore makeup. So please subscribe so you don't miss out on any of them in the future. This is a repeat of a video I did last year. It got such a positive response from so many of you that I wanted to do a new waterproof drugstore makeup tutorial using a whole new round of products that you can try. And if you happen to miss the video from last year, I will also have that one linked for you below as well. These are heat proof, sweat proof, humidity proof, and yes, even pool proof. I'll show you the up close application with each of them, and at the end of the video, I'll dive in for a 30 minute swim test so you can see just how great these really are. First two products I'm using are from Ulta. These are their cream eyeshadow and liner sticks in the shades I Lilac You A Lot and Rule Of Plum. I'm starting with I Lilac You A Lot and applying it all over the lid. Very creamy, easy to blend, and I'm simply taking a dense brush once I have enough applied to the eye and blending out the harsher edges. Then I went back with Rule Of Plum and I used an angled brush to pick up some of the product and pushed it into the lower lash line. Next product I'm using here is from LA Girl Cosmetics. It's one of their new gel eyeliners in the shade Raging Purple. These are so creamy, smooth, very easy to apply, and they are 100% waterproof. They will not move, budge, flake, smear. I'm telling you, they are awesome. And they come in so many different shades to choose from too, which is also another great quality. Using another product here from LA Girl Cosmetics, this is their Brow Pomade, and I'm using the shade Taupe. Now this is completely waterproof. I actually was wearing it in my waterproof powders test that I did in the rain, and the stuff does not budge. It's very pigmented, easy to blend, and gives you a very natural appearance when you're done too. Next, I'm taking Essence's I Love Extreme Volume Mascara. The size of the wand always blows me away when I take it out of the tube. It's just so huge. But this mascara is one of the best I have ever tried, especially at this price point. I am going with false eyelashes. These are from the Eyelore brand. It's their Marquise style. Now, if you are going to be wearing lashes in the pool, hey, some people might, I always recommend going with either a silk or synthetic. You want to stay away from human hair and other kinds of hairs because they will not hold up to being submerged underwater for a long period of time. And if you are planning on wearing lashes in the pool, you always want to use a black glue. I use the one from Kiss. If you use a white glue, it will show through after being submerged underwater. Just an FYI. Unfortunately, I have not been able to find any new face products this year that are waterproof. So I'm using the same foundation and concealer that I used in last year's video, the CoverGirl 3-in-1 and the NYX Gotcha Covered Waterproof Concealer. And I'm setting the face with the Catrice Prime and Fine Waterproof Translucent Powder. Excellent stuff. This is one that I tested in the rain recently, you may remember, and nothing gets through this powder. I'm adding in a contour because I don't think I did one last year. This is from Wet n Wild. It's their Mega Glow Contour Palette. I've never tested it in the pool, so this will be an interesting experience, but I have a feeling it's going to last because it's one of those that stays very vibrant and strong on the face throughout the day. By the same token, I am also using one of Wet n Wild's Mega Glow Highlighters in the shade Precious Petals. Again, not really sure if this is going to last, but we're going to test it out. I went back and added more of the mascara from Essence on the lower lashes so you can really see how it'll hold up in the pool. And for the lips, I used one of the Maybelline Matte Ink Lipsticks, and this is in the shade Loyalist. And I know for a fact that this lipstick does not budge because it's one of the longest lasting lipsticks I've ever used from the drugstore. Moment of truth, we're gonna do our first dunk. Here we go. 
Ooh, ooh, refreshing. This is so cold. Water in my lashes. <laughs> it's like stuck little raindrops on my lashes. Like I did in last year's video, I'm gonna hang out here in the pool for the next 30 minutes or so. Keep dunking my face. I'm gonna try to swim some laps. I don't know how successful I'll be because I can't really hold my breath that long these days, but you know what I mean. I'll be back to show you how everything looks. I gotta tell you though, this was cold at first, but now it feels so good. Woo -hoo -hoo. Face check! For the most part, everything has remained intact. The eyeshadow looks fabulous, both on the lid and that lower lash line where I applied that plum shade. The Essence Mascara has not run. It's still intact also. The eyeliner looks fantastic. No bleeding. Still in place. The brows are on. The lips look good. The rest of the face looks fantastic also. The contour is hanging on. It's fading and I think we lost the highlight. <laughs> but like I said, I've never really tested the contour or the highlight in the pool before and I'm pretty happy to see that much left on my face. For the most part though, a lot of really excellent products here for you to try. And if you have some affordable waterproof drugstore favorites of your own to share, please feel free to do so below. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch and I want to wish you a wonderful weekend ahead. I look forward to seeing you again very soon. And if you need more waterproof makeup options that won't break the bank, check out my video from last year. Whole nother tutorial of products not mentioned in today's video that are affordable and will keep your face intact no matter what you put it through.